Hi guys, assistant target exam has happened yesterday. So let's see the some of the questions that were asked in the UPSC assistant target exam. The first one is uh, Dolman, Robbie House, Villa Shodan, and Falling Water are examples of architecture compositions which can be categorized under. See, actually, most of them, these are all uh, Roby House, Falling Water. These uh, two of them are designed by Frank Lord, right? We all know that. So, and also, these are horizontally expanded. These are not like uh, vertical high rise buildings or someone. And clean, clean lines. If you see the Ruby House, So suppose this is a compound wall and the, these are that um, small pyramidal roofs. These are that and one, one more small uh, sloping roof is there here. So mainly what happening is here it is all horizontally expanded. So in my view the answer is the planar composition. So planar composition is the correct answer for this. So yeah, it's your, the ruby house is very famous and uh, falling water also if you see both of them are like they are planar compositions only. Angular designs, there are no angular designs, all these are uh, straight lines, most of them. Columnar designs, uh, columns also, it's not there. These are not like some high rise buildings, yeah, vertical. Columnar mainly focuses on vertical designs, no. Suppose if Ashoka tree is there, it's a columnar tree. So this is not columnar, this is not correct. Architectural jolly designs, there is no question of jollies in these houses, uh, so this is not. So planar composition is the correct answer. So coming to the next question, in architectural theory, mainly in this one I am concentrating on architectural theory. I have taken up only few questions in this present one. We will do the other questions in subsequent episodes, okay. The natural ventilation evident in Pantheon room. See, this is also exhaust vent is the correct answer. See, if you see Pantheon Dome, here actually on top of it, there is the opening. It's called, this is the main dome. If you will see where we will have that pillar slab with uh, all the designs, all these uh, rectangular designs, uh, slab sort of thing. If you see the interior of the dome of Pantheon Dome, it will be seen like this. Okay. So, this all this area is getting ventilated. From the top, the air movement is uh, here. Actually, there is a it's called oculus. This particular opening is called oculus. This is the architectural element also. From this one, um, the ventilation will be happening in the inside the dome area. Okay, so through this venturi effect is happening. We all know that hot air air rises and it escapes through the openings outside and cool air enters. So, in my view, the exhaust vent is the answer for this. First one is the right answer. So, coming to the next question, which of the following buildings is not designed by Lee Corbusier? See, as you immediately, like in normally, if you see. Millionaires Association, this is very famous. This one is designed by Lee Corbusier, you all know. Chandigarh, the name, just if you say Chandigarh means 
we all almost know that it is designed by Lee Carbuzier only. There is no question of other architects. Okay. So confusion may arise between the both of them. But uh, Carpenter Center, uh, this is designed by Lee Carbuzier. This one, Telesian West. This one is designed by F.L. Wright. Okay. Carpenter Center, if you see. All these are uh, famous buildings. So Carpenter Center also, we all know the style of architectural style of uh, Lee Carbuzier. So Carpenter Center shape is also Mainly the Carbuzier buildings will have all the braces oil type. So here actually there is one circular element. In, uh, yeah. in this one actually he has given all the uh, fins. Most of them he have used fins. So this is a landmark style of the Carbuzier. So the answer is the Telesian West, which one of the following is not designed by Telesian West, it is designed by FL right, okay. Well, if you see the Millionaires Association building also. This is also having the same uh, similar pattern. Those they are located in different countries. Millionaires Association building, if you see. Again, here also we have many things sort of thing to avoid the hot sun. So we know that uh, in Ahmedabad also there is very it's a very hot dry sort of climate. So here also we have that braces solil uh, type of fence that will control the sun inside the building. Coming to the next question, the concept of architecture machine where the machine was supposed to be intelligent enough to carry out the design while cooperating in a dialogue with the architect was pioneered by. See, actually, what he was doing is uh, the concept of architecture machine. And this one is uh, actually it's, a, it's one of the book written by Nicholas Negropante. What he said is uh, he has devised the importance of machine. Okay. That's the total, uh, the book name, total book name is uh, The Architecture Machine. The Architecture Machine Towards a More Human Environment. So this is a title of the book it's done by Nicole and Nicholas Negropante. So in this one mainly what he is saying is that the machine was supposed to be intelligent, maybe intelligent or smart enough to carry out the design while cooperating in dialogue with the architect. That means it has to listen to the architect and understand his design ideology and the machine should carry out the design by taking inputs from the architecture. So this particular uh, question, the answer is Nicholas Negropante, architecture machine towards a 
मोर ह्यूमन दिस इज अ बुक रिटन बाय निकोलस नगरो पैंडे व्हिच आर द फॉलोइंग आर पिक्टोरियल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ रिलीजन हिस्ट्री एंड डेली लाइफ सी नॉर्मली इफ यू सी इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस आल्सो वी हैव हर्ड अबाउट हीरोग्लिफिक हीरोग्लिफ्स यू हैव सीन नो सो इट्स नथिंग बट लाइक ऑन द टूम वॉल्स or on uh, the temple walls there will be uh, artworks representing their culture okay suppose uh, whatever the suppose a person is uh, doing something suppose they are constructing the pyramids they are uh, taking the luggage uh, through carts what are the stone materials through carts so all these these kind of things they are all represented in on top of hieroglyphs with the uh, pictorial representations uh, so this is here this is the uh, answer we have not about the uh, pictographics uh, maybe this and this iconographics uh, maybe these are given to confuse but um, in my view hieroglyphics is the answer the author of the best selling popular novel the fountain head it has celebrated the idea that the prime generator of built form is the creative power of individual architecture see actually this is also one of the easy questions they have given in the bpsc assistant architect exam 2023 the fountain head we all know this is actually we are also seeing this book right from the first year of architecture see howard rock is nothing but it's a character in the book they are trying to confuse this ayan rand is a she is the author famous author she became very famous with this book she has written some other books also she is not an architect but she has written very good about uh, fountain head and also normally we will be hearing that this book is about uh, this howard rock who is a hero in the novel this character is nothing but like fl right so these are not the russian mon these are not the answer question no. only and rand is the answer in my view come to the next question as described by kevin lynch in his seminal work see kevin lynch as he has we have seen this kevin lynch uh, urban design urban design we have learned about him in the urban design subject image of the city it is an article written by him kevin lynch so in this one we have, we all know that uh, he specified about uh, paths edges edges are nothing but boundaries paths are nothing but uh, walkways through which we will explore all the area nodes nodes are nothing but like important points and landmarks uh, landmarks we all know they are, they are like reference points so in the question what they are asking they are asking which of the following are points points referred referred as strategic spots in city into which an observer see it's what happen observer can enter so he, he says this we can uh, differentiate suppose you might be getting uh, this one anyway observer can enter at points they are saying following are the points so path it cannot be a point path is a lion sort of thing whether it is meandering or straight line it's a walkway so points means this won't come immediately edges edges means boundaries bound he is not talking about boundaries he is talking about points and referred as strategic spots in city so he is saying about some different spots 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 they won't edges won't come this is like a boundary so you may get be confusing by between nodes and landmarks but landmarks what he is saying is which an observer can enter suppose normally nodes are like they are like traffic junctions also okay suppose uh, two, two roads are uh, merging at one point consider this is this is also urban node okay here actually all this uh, important cbd area it may form in future so this intersection will uh, have good all the commercial areas can uh, form it between at this junction okay so what is saying is uh, spot satisfy and which an observer can enter enter see here these are nodes we can enter and exit okay which are intensive foci 
from and to and from which he is traveling traveling also is same so nothing but the answer is nodes landmarks is not the answer so the answer is nodes so actually if i i'll read out whatever he said in ke in this also what he is saying is there are nodes are like large areas you can enter serve as a foresight of the city neighborhood or district okay offers the person in them multiple perspectives of other core elements the most successful need seem both to be unique in some way and at the same time to intensify some surrounding characteristics so this particular node so then this main road whatever is there in future all this in future all this areas will become all this areas commercial activity will be developed or suppose this particular road it is near by entertainment land use this particular all these entertainment food courts and all those may come up here so this is the nodes nodes is the right answer So coming to another question. So see, Max, they have asked about you know given renowned architects, and they have asked about philosophical approach. What are their philosophical approaches? See, actually, for myself, I know this Kenneth Frampton. He is one of the best architectural historian, famous architectural historian. So he has written a book uh, towards critical regionalism. Okay. So critical regionalism is what means yeah. we have to take the elements of our tradition that means vernacular architecture suppose consider um, if you if you consider there is some building in kerala okay in kerala all the roofs the traditional vernacular architecture also there are there are sloped roofs because because of rainfall because the rainfall automatically to diverse the rainfall uh, they vernacularly people used to from a old tradition they had designed slope rules so what can it from then says is in the critical regional concept in the modern buildings also you can use these elements what are the traditional elements are there but you can change the material of it suppose uh, they have constructed with some clay tiles maybe here you can change with other material what are the latest materials uh, you are uh, evident in uh, modern architecture you can use that material but you can use the same forms uh, you can take the concept of vernacular architecture and develop it in a modern way that's what he, he says actually so r1 r r is one next see hasan fata he is also one of the very good architect he, he is also famous architect we have seen him as he is egyptian architect this one he has mainly concentrated on uh, traditional forms all those uh, domes so whatever vernacular architecture traditional forms and methods of construction taking both the accommodate the needs of the community and uh, in so he is a sort of um, communal architect community to help the community he has uh, taken what are the vernacular architectural elements are there through that only he tried to construct for the community for the entire community so q is automatically 3 richard rogers we are know he is one of the best modern architects So, uh, he this one anyway technology means automatic Richard Rogers will come. So, C two. This is the right answer. Okay. Thank you guys. We will come up with uh, another interesting episode. Uh, UPSC Assistant Architect Exam 2023. It's a very interesting examination paper. let's prepare for the deputy architect exam also in the similar manner by considering uh, whatever positives or negatives in the paper we are getting an idea for preparing to the deputy architect exam let's prepare properly and achieve our goals thank you